Grace Misconception number 17. Polish Cavalry Charged German Tanks. The myth usually states that during the German invasion of Poland at the beginning of World War II, Polish military units were so primitive and incompetent that they actually attempted to fight against armored German tanks with horse-mounted units armed only with swords and lances. This is false. It never happened. In September 1, 1939, the Polish Fourth Army was stationed in the Pomeranian area to prevent German forces from taking the northwest section of Poland. The German 20th Motorized Infantry Division was approaching the city of Hornitsa, which was 165 miles northwest of Warsaw and threatening an important railroad junction. Polish forces decided to take two cavalry squadrons through the forest and attack German infantry positions from the rear. They soon came upon a German infantry battalion in open ground. Taking advantage of the open terrain and the element of surprise, Polish cavalry forces charged the German infantry with sabers. A total of 250 mounted Polish troops took the Germans by surprise and inflicted heavy casualties on the Germans while taking few themselves. With German forces in retreat, it seemed that the Polish forces were going to win the battle, until German armored vehicles arrived and opened fire on the Polish cavalry units. The Poles quickly broke off the attack and retreated with 20 killed and about 60 captured or wounded. The myth began when a German general named General Heinz Guderan, who was part of the German 20th Motorized Infantry Division, wrote, We succeeded in totally encircling the enemy on our front in the wooded country north of Schwartz and rest of Gordons. The Polish cavalry, in ignorance of the nature of our tanks, had charged them with swords and lances and suffered tremendous losses. There were also similar incidents where Polish cavalry attempted to break through encircling German forces rather than be captured, which gave the impression that the Poles were trying to attack the tanks rather than make evasive maneuvers between them. Later on, German military officials gave their false impressions of the events to war correspondents and led them to report that the Polish cavalry had been foolish enough to charge German tanks with lances and swords. But none of the war correspondents ever actually witnessed the battles and just took the word of the German military officials. In reality, Polish cavalry never did this. In fact, Polish cavalry was equipped with several anti-tank weapons, including a 7.9mm anti-tank rifle that could be fired from the prone position and penetrate 15mm of armor at 300 meters and 33mm of armor at 100 meters. So now you know better, and that was Enigma Hood's greatest misconceptions.